Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to take a minute. I'm not about to go off on a political rant. There's enough of that going on right now. Um, and I'm not going to sell you Plexus or anything either, so keep watching. Um, I wanted to talk about something that, um, kind of a follow-up to something I put on Facebook a few weeks ago. And a project that I'm going to start over the next couple of weeks and invite you to be part of. Um, I put up a picture of some precious, precious school children in Haiti. I visited the country in 2011 and just absolutely fell in love with the people and the, the beauty of the country and especially the children. And I shared that back in January, I took a pretty bold step and applied to actually teach there for a couple years. And that was about a two-year process of praying and thinking and talking to the boys and Anyway, it all completely just stopped and fell through um, back in the spring. And so, you know, then this hurricane happened a few weeks ago, and it just was heartbreaking to see um, see the devastation coming from that. And I was looking at it and thinking, like, what in the world can we do? So I uh, started researching a little bit and found this organization called Hope for Haiti, and it's based in Naples, Florida. And um, they are currently taking, well, they're always taking different things um, to send down there. But one of the main things, um, threats to the people of Haiti, is the disease cholera. And the thing about cholera is that it's completely preventable and treatable. And yet, people are dying by the thousands. And it's an excruciating way to die. Um, and so it just does not need to happen. And uh, the prevention kits that we can put together are extremely simple things um, outside of, you know, a couple specifics that I'm going to tell you about. But um, things like nail brushes and antibacterial hand soap um, and making sure that their water's been clean. Uh, you know, just those simple steps and getting these things into the hands of people in those communities there can literally save their lives. So, um... My school and the, the teachers and the staff at my school and um, the students at the middle school here and um, and the youth ministry at a church here, are we're all working together to put some of these kits together and we're going to ship them down to Naples and then from there the organization will get them into the hands of people who are on the ground in Haiti working. Um, so if you want to be part of this... Um, Everybody can get on Amazon, and so you can send me a message. I'd be happy to give you my address, and um, and you can order some of these items, as many as you want to contribute, and get them shipped directly to me. I'll handle it from there, uh, but it's uh, water purification tablets, and this is something they just put in their water to make sure it's clean to drink. Uh, it is salt rehydration tablets. And that is where, if they do get sick, you know, they're able to rehydrate their body. And um, and then there is, I just had a total brain lapse, sorry. Um, nail brushes to clean their nails and uh, antibacterial hand soap and gallon Ziploc bags. Those five items. It's very simple stuff. So if you want to be part of that, I would love for you to, you know, I think right now, especially over the past 24 hours, there is um, kind of a, well, it depends on which side of things you're on but you know sometimes you can't see the forest through the trees and there's a lot going on right now in our nation and in our individual lives and I know sometimes it helps to just kind of zoom out and gain some perspective and one of the ways um, that's most helpful to do that I believe is to look around and to serve and to love and to give um, and so if you would love to be part of this project, I would enjoy having you come on board, shoot me a message or an email, and, um, and I can give you some more information. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Bye.